whatever. Imagine ending it on one red. Yeah, you would die like so many times. Or you, if if it was necessary to end it on one red, like there would be a different strat probably. Yeah, that's what kind of what I thought. He would just let the flood kill them. Wait. What if I did that right now? Even if I wasn't one red, what if? Those Marines could use some help, Chief. If I could, wait, no, I don't think so. If I could completely hide from the flood. So no flood would be after me. All flood would then go kill the sentinels. Would it be faster than me going there and kill the sentinels myself? But it's just not possible to uh, make it so that all the flood are just gonna leave me completely alone and go kill the sentinels. Yeah, there, there's just isn't a place to hide in. Guess there are so many flood. Oh yeah, I, I do this security distraction nade. People might like wonder why I do that. Like at the end of kill this park, if I have a plasma, I always throw the plasma to the left. Just kind of randomly. It's because the sentinels spawn there. At least they should, right? I don't even know because they are random spawns. And then because I throw the nade there, the flood are gonna be looking at the nade rather than me, and then the sentinels spawn. And then they find the sentinels like, oh hey, look, sentinels, let's kill them. And they have no idea where the master chief is, and I'm just like, hey hey. No. Okay. If the sentinel spawns would always be the same, you could <laughs> imagine how fun th that would be. I could do a consistent, probably a consistent uh, sentinel <coughs> stick setup, where I would just stick the se stick a sentinel with a plasma nade right when they spawn in the map, onto the map, like into the map. I don't even know. Which term is correct? I thought they were gonna chain react. Nice. Chief? Chief it's always the worst feeling when <laughs> you see there's a plasma or what any kind of an explosion in front of you, and then you see at your feet there are like plasma grenades, and you're like, "Oh shit!" Like you, you know you're gonna die, and 
Just a split second later, you're dead. Stop missing 420. What was that? F oh. Not surprised, honestly. Because 419 seems to be like the average POA for me. Uh, Dustin echoes, go look what the IL does. If that, like, the IL does that, uses a rush, you take a little the shortest, like, uh, route to the trigger that triggers the sentinels, and then you just shoot them as fast as you can. The thing is, you just die most of the time. The reason you go to the right is to avoid flood. They haven't killed anybody, I don't think. <sighs> this one's probably dead. Yeah, the ground is... yeah, I don't know what to do. Oh wait, Johnson died. Uh, okay, I have to leave that guy out. Where's the other... that guy? Okay, he didn't aggro, which is kind of surprising. Oh shit, I need... damn it. Where's the elite? Wait, what? That's weird. Why is the grunt aggroed if both elites died? Yo, brainless Finny, hello. I can't, like, I can't predict his movements. OP. OP, OP. Yo, thanks Finny, same to you. is not a natural formation. Someone built it, so it must lead somewhere. I've hacked into the Covenant Battle Network. We're actually broadcasting tactical Yo, sub on channels. Stop streaming. Good idea. Chief, 
I'm going to use your suit's transcom system to monitor their chat. Should just grind offline runs instead. I actually did used to do offline runs for this game. Not like m many, but I did do that. I don't do that anymore. I haven't done that in like a really long time. I still remember when I did an offline run and I was I think I once lost an offline run that was gonna be like a 125 on the mall and I was like really fucking pissed off and I was like well I'm not getting a run that good in a long time Five minutes later, I mean, like, that doesn't make sense. And now I'm five minutes faster, <coughs> faster than that. More than five minutes. For Oblivion runs, uh, at least when I joined, you know, the Oblivion speedrunning community, it was like somebody got the recce and they were like, okay, this recce is so good, like, nobody's gonna beat this. Like, or they were like, okay, this is like impressive and this is probably not gonna get beaten or something. And then it always got beaten, like, f the next day. I remember when. The Oblivion Recce was like... Like literally every day there would be a new Oblivion Recce. And in a week it would change hands like three times. Like three different people who would, ha would have the Recce within a week. And I was obviously one of them. And then it just kinda died died down then I had the recce for like half a year and a fun cannon was like okay let's play this game again he took the recce and something happened and now there is again a new skip that saves over a minute fun cannon took the recce and now I'm like eh, am I gonna take it again I guess I'm gonna, gonna at some point Oblivion speedruns are kind of fun. And for this game it's like, I've had the recce for like, a year and a half. Without really any... I mean, I've had competition not recently though. I really haven't paid any attention to this run. So I've been talking about other stuff. I think... I don't think I've really lost much time anywhere, have I? Fuck. Can these grunts show up? One grunt. Two grunts and... Three grunts, thank you. Shit, I didn't damn it. My sniper only has one shot in the magazine. What is this guy doing here? Oh shit. Traffic on the 
Covenant Battle.net. I found Captain Keys. He's being held on a Covenant cruiser. The Truth and Reconciliation. A ship I disabled before we abandoned the Autobahn. The Truth and Reconciliation touched down on a desert plateau roughly 300 kilometers out of the I'm not gonna have time. There's our ride. Get aboard. Yeah. Like I thought, zooming in doesn't affect the spray in any way. So zooming in is not more accurate. As some people might think. I wish this game had s like Counter Strike style spray patterns and spray control. Like, imagine if the AR was actually powerful in this game, but you had to be able to actually use it by being good. You would have to learn the spray, and then you could be accurate instead of just it, the spray being completely random and the gun being completely fucking useless against anything other than grunts from shor short range. But then again, the casuals would complain that it's too difficult, I can't aim. Two grunts, that's three, that's four, then just these two guys. Fucking hate that, he has to die. You saw how I waited there before killing that grunt? If I had killed that grunt before Cordana started talking, I would have got an early wave. Go rainbow split.
five. More gold elites, please. There's a grunt alive. No, there's not. That's six then. Seven. Eight. Dude, nice. I got this one. I'm gonna grab the camo after this. And then it's the last wave. So instead of, like, after killing that wave, instead of going back there to grab the camo, I'm already here with the camo and it saves time and uh, assuming like okay this camo should last for long enough for me to get past this room unless like something really weird happens I mean yeah especially when I get the guard door you can still you can see how I still have camo up until here So it's fast, like real fast. I have to concentrate. Don't throw this away. Now this cli okay. If I want this to be a rainbow, I think I have to. I'm I'm not sure, but I. At least I would like to get the fast cycle here with the elite. Like. Fuck, not like this. God damn it. Ah. He didn't die. Hacker. Bad, clear. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Not sure what this DNR is, but with a really fast bridge clear, definitely could have been a rainbow. Maybe it can still be, who knows. Pretty decent prison. Did I get the nades? Okay, thank god I did. I couldn't fucking hit the melee, dude. What the fuck? The marines have to do their job. Nice. 
Fast elites too. Good ending. Casey's right there. Fast. Yeah, that's an easy rainbow. Really fucking fast pace. You don't get sub 25s too often. Can you do the crazy stick stack in the TNR hangar? Uh, I have no idea how to do that. Honestly, I've never done that. And I have no idea how difficult it is to pull off. <coughs> and I think that rainbow was brought to you by the new belly strat I do. Where I pick up the camo early. I got kind of lucky in belly fight in the sense like the ninth wave was came out from the door that's closest to the camo so I could pick up the camo easily right after that and then the last way was uh, right next to the hunter door so it's it was like perfect in that sense and that's exactly why I do that strat now is if I get a good if I get good doors like that it's gonna save a bunch of time compared to like me going all the way back to get the camo after killing the waves and it would be so much slower. The only bad part of that TNR was like the bridge clear wasn't which wasn't even that awful. So this could be faster. Not actually sure if that's IL Reki. Probably not, but pro can be close. The Covenant are putting up a real fight. The cartographer must be here. Don't let them lock the doors. I really want to see, actually. Now, if the Jackal would just like leave me alone, okay, thanks, bye. Very good. I underestimated the covenant. Very, very good. This has to be like the second fastest run I've ever had. Or maybe it's uh, I don't even know. So I think my fastest DNR split ever is at twenty four forty seven. I think. It's right there. He's dead now. Maybe. Who knows? If I could always get TNR splits like this, like 119 wouldn't be even be difficult. It's just most of the time my TNR splits are about a minute slower. You can die. If you were looking closely, I was t taking damage from those elites. So you can technically. 
uh, that's random. Uh, I'd rather revert than be one bar. They usually don't punch you like that. Uh, what? That this is so bad RNG actually. Why? What is he looking at me like? That's not supposed to even happen. Well, losing time on this level, uh, not much yet at least. Maybe 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Let's see after this thing. Depends on this thing. That's too early. Hmm? Maybe not. At least this trick is 100% consistent, so I don't really have to worry about it. Yeah, I'm gonna lose some time on this. I had to revert, like... Yeah. So, if, if you are red health after the very first set of enemies, you should probably revert to the very start. It's not like... It's a very minimal time loss compared to what it could be if you decided to continue and then die. And then you couldn't even do the nade jumps if you were one red. So it's like, I'd rather revert. New strat. Uh, I, I, it's the newest strat in the route for sure. It just depends on what what you would uh, classify as new, because it's about uh, six months, actually more than that old. Uh, I don't know exactly. Uh, I would say about, like I said, six months ago. The, the, the trick itself was found like earlier than that, but I think like about six months ago I started doing it. I was roughly at 30 seconds, yeah, kind of what I thought, around there. Wait. Fuck, I hate that. I just looked at my stream and... <laughs> The fucking FPS counter, <laughs> oh my god, I hate that shit so much. When the FPS counter is on the live split video. Yeah, everybody wants to know how my live split video comparison is at 30 FPS. Okay, a weird thing. That has that happens every time I play Oblivion or you know speedrun Oblivion. Uh, I run the game at 60 FPS because it's required in the speedrunning rules. But every time I play the game, this monitor locks at 60 f 60 hertz. So every time I stop playing Oblivion. I literally have to go to NVIDIA settings and set the monitor back to 144 Hz because for some reason it always goes to 60 Hz. So like somehow me capping the game to 60 makes the monitor cap to 60. I don't even know. Maybe it's because I'm, I don't know. I have to try like running the game in like windowed mode or something and stuff like that. Oh, God damn it, I hate that.
Oh yeah, this level again has time save. In before I die at the ending again. Yeah, LT underscore disco, that's exactly the reason you have to cap the game to 64 speedruns. Because the game actually works faster the higher your frame rate is. So, if you were on a higher frame rate, like all the, uh, when you load up menus and stuff, when you lock 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 picks and stuff, all those menus just they go faster. So it would be unfair if somebody could have a higher frame rate just because their specs are high like better. So it does make sense. These grunts are so bad. What is that guy even trying to do? I can't do anything. Okay, I actually... Okay, whatever. I feel like I should have died or at least taken more damage than that. But I'm fine with it. What was that? <laughs> Almost somehow failed that. I haven't failed the jump like actually. I don't know. Can't remember. Because it's like I impossible to fail. That just it reminds me <laughs> how Kribani <laughs> used to do a frag jump there. Because, I don't know, I guess he just couldn't hit the plasma jump. So he would just jump on top of the box, look down and toss a frag. Dude, stop trolling me. The amount of side, the amount of damage I just took was insane. Considering I was full health, I was full health, full shields, and I just dropped like so fast. It was insane. Oh right, I have no frags. So let's just try to do the plasma jump then. Yo ninja underscore robot, hello. Oh, checkpoint here. That's interesting. I've never gotten a checkpoint right there. This is Echo 419. Chief, is that you? Chief, is that you? If I die, did it flood again because the sentinel spawns just fail like I'm triggered? Oh, 
Oh, hi. I wonder if we can get on top of that mountain or hill or whatever and take a shortcut over here. I've tried doing it but probably not possible unless you do like a, some kind of a double nade jump somehow but you would die from that. Like, that's a distraction grenade. I throw it just to make the flood go over there. Sentinels. Fuck. The other sentinel. Where is the question? Nowhere, because he was dead. Good. Uh, nobody saw that. Some good time save on that level. So what? I know. Nothing happened. You don't need to worry about it. Now this guy shouldn't be too close to me at least. I didn't lose all of it. I lost less than 10 seconds to that nade jump and maybe like 5 seconds. Not a big deal. Oh sh shit. Dude! There's no way the AR guy is still alive dude, what the fuck. You were joking, yeah. I get it. Yo, Rainbow Dash, thanks. Sadly, my my PB has a good two betrayal, so it's like if I die once, <coughs> I'm gonna lose time unless I do fast ghost or unless it's like something just somehow I just go really fast and save the time back from the death. But usually that just doesn't happen because TBs are really straight forward level. The only place where you really s like. The only place where, how do I say it, like, you save or lose time is like first bridge, because first bridge is not really that straightforward, because it has spawns, it has just different things with the AI. 
but everything else you just kind of do the exact same thing always. Just run through. On, on first bridge you have to kind of think what you're gonna do and how fast you can take it. Also depending on your health. But like for example Hella room, which is straight after first bridge. I always do it the exact same way, even if I'm one bar of health. Or if I'm even full health, I just do the exact same thing every time. Yo, dark devastation. Hello. My favorite Halo. Uh, I don't. Okay, it's like difficult to pick just one game. So I'm just gonna say Halo 2 for campaign, Halo 3 for multiplayer. I can't really say about Halo 2 multiplayer too much because. Uh, I didn't play OG Halo 2 on Xbox Live. I've only played Halo 2 multiplayer on like split screen and then on Vista, but everybody knows what how bad Vista is. Please AR go away. Okay. Actually, the only reason I run Halo C is because it's on PC and any other Halo games aren't. Literally, the only reason. Initially, I thought I was gonna run Halo 3, but then I just realized uh, speedrunning this game, streaming the game, everything would be so much easier if I just did everything. If I just could do everything on the same platform, which is obviously PC. So, you know. Now, Cancer Hallway, please be nice. Too good to compete against? Maybe. Oh, the hallway was being really nice by the way. Didn't even lose any health at all. Uh, now, the next thing I have to hope for that is nice is... What did I just see? Yeah, is this thing here? Fuck. Is that like th what? Okay, I was actually st no. What? That was definitely the right spot. Like, there's no way I was standing. Well, okay, I don't fucking know. I don't know if that's supposed to be my fault or what. I lost a shit ton of time. The power of the assault rifle is too much for me. Ooh. 
Am I like fucking choking this run right now or what? I guess I am. Pardon of soul and strike out on PC. I really hope this isn't a fake reviver. I don't think he should be. Well, at least this was like the fastest possible. Still gonna lose time on this level. At least I think I am. Because of how bad my Dark Door was. Dark, dark Door is just a bitch every time. And sometimes it's first try and it's not a bitch at all. I kinda want this run to end right now just to see what my TNR time was. Is there I think there's a chance it could have been IL Brecky, but probably not. Probably not. Yeah, there's actually no chance. <laughs> but I could get the IL, IL Recky in a full game run for sure. In, even if I don't do spirit jump, it's the IL Reki does spirit jump, uh, revive. Kinda makes makes up for the dark door time loss. Now the only thing y you can think of is like, what if he got dark door first try? Like rainbow hype. Because it actually could be rainbow hype. Like, no kidding. Because 90 door was perfect, that door was perfect. I haven't died, everything has been fast. But obviously, you can't have rainbow splits. Not. Uh. Okay. I just got the weirdest fucking spawn I've ever seen. There was a shotgun guy like right behind me. And now he's no. What? The fuck? That is the weirdest fucking spawn I've ever seen there. There's like no way there's a shotgun guy that close to me that he can just fucking three shot kill me. Like what? Usually if there are flood behind you that are shooting you are like AR flood and they barely do any damage because they are so far away. So I just almost lost like, well not all the time from the bump I got. I don't even care. And I, I don't need to think about it. I just have to play. Go fast. Get the 119. And then it's like, feels good, man. Kappa B. That's not a very Kappa B, though. When the fucking sentinels dodge like that. There is no fucking way. Like, I don't know what's a good way of killing these guys, because they always dodge. I mean, sometimes dodge. And you just can't know when they're gonna dodge. And you don't know which way they're gonna dodge. 
So you, you really can't like place your reticle or like anything based on anything. You just kind of have to yeah, do something. One thing I've gotten lucky with recently though is I've, I've, <coughs> I've been getting a lot of bl bl blue elites in that first hallway and you could see how easy that kill was. Really easy kill. Because blue elites are so much so much weaker compared to reddies. Oh, there's an elite alive. Somehow. The run dies here. Yeah, probably. Uh, but the good thing is, my new PB doesn't have keys flood bump, so I can be like, okay, the run can kind of die here, but tell us there's always keys flood bump. So you know. Free time save if I get lucky. If I ever decide to go for it. De completely depends how far ahead I am after this level. Okay, let's say if I'm red after after this level, can I get a 119? I can. Okay, if I'm even after this level, can I get a 119? I can, but my shield bump has to be good and my more has to be good. I'm gonna kill you. He dropped nage, which is really good as well. If I'm green after this level, I don't think I would... Nah, it, it just co all only depends on how much I am ahead or behind. Like, if, if I'm plus, let's say, if I'm plus three, uh, five seconds, I would probably go for Key's Flood Bump. If I was even, I would probably not go for it. Because it's very unlikely. To actually get a one done a one nineteen, if I had to save twenty seconds on the last two levels, but fifteen seconds would be kind of realistic. I'm not sure actually. Fuck this guy in the asshole. Uh, I was too far away. That shit did nothing. Wait, what? This guy died. I thought this guy didn't die. So I just wasted a rocket. Well, I guess I'm using one less rocket on the bridge or something. happening here. Yo Finny, hello. I mean you were here earlier, weren't you? Those jackals should have died both. Now if this guy would just oh he's rushing me like this is actually a good thing. Uh bye bye elite Please, no. Okay, good. Pretty good bridge, I would have to say. Also, my rocket situation is good, because I didn't really use any rockets there. Like, two, I, I think. Maybe.
they all die. Okay, I did get the checkpoint, so... Okay, good. Good. Uh, consistent bridge is consistent, question mark. Uh, how did I just fuck? And now there's an. I'm dead, I'm fucking dead. I could have lived if the banshee hadn't splattered me. Don't eat me. Why? I can hmm. Fuck. Fuck nuggets. Yeah, I'm losing time on this level easily. Which makes me think, should I do fast ghost? Uh, how much ahead was I after library? I've nev definitely lost time on this level so far, that's all I know, like there's no way I haven't. So I've died. Phoebe, I didn't die. Good Chumo. 55. Can somebody do a f quick calculation as to how much ahead I am right now? Like, okay, about... We'll after this death? After... Living after all? Whatever. <coughs> I'm not gonna go for fast ghost, no. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go for fast ghost if I die in fa an uh, in second pulse. That's the only w way I'm gonna go for that. If it goes like it always goes, I mean how how it's supposed to go. I'm not gonna go for it because I can steal a 119 without getting it. What if I okay? What if I did go for it anyways? Got it. Saved 20 seconds and then 119 would look like very much likely. Hmm. It's always tempting, but. Lost way too many runs there. Fuck you. That's fast. Thanks for the plasma rifle. Don't die here like a dumb idiot. Uh, really good. Fast. Checkpoint. Fearrod has to die or just not shoot me. Also, I might be forced to go for fast ghost if I if my banshee hell drops down drastically. I probably saved time in that reactor room or engine whatever generator I wish I had gotten a checkpoint here though if I fuck 
I think he died. Wait. Did that? Okay. I lost a little time there. I guess somehow I didn't hit the f hit the fucking trigger. But hmm. That's actually a good save strat. Uh. Yeah. I if you don't wanna. Worry about getting rocketed while pressing the button. Hashtag I press the button button. Uh, you can just do that, but it's obviously a little slower. And I wouldn't recommend it if you're going for a real, real recce attempt straight mark. This can possibly be 119 if, uh, if I don't choke keys <laughs> or if like okay something bad control me obviously <laughs> that's my reaction right there you there you have it that's my reaction to that I refuse to die. Get the health back. I would be a maniac if I didn't grab the health back. Yo, Halin's Kyoith. Never been into speedrunning, but these streams are fun to watch. Appreciate the kind words. Especially because this, this is about to be well recce pace. I mean, it's well recce pace, but let's see if it's actually gonna be a well recce. me that I will hate this bump forever I will hate that bump forever. I could have saved time on this level if I hadn't fucked that shit. I'm never prepared for that because I never try to get that specific bump and it just bumps you to a spot where like should I go to the left or to the right? Because I can possibly land on both sides but it's like... Give me nades. I have to use a plasma here. I mean a frag. Okay, this... What? That's bad and slow, but what can I do? Fuck nuggets, dude. I'm gonna lose time here. I'm probably gonna lose time here. Yo, Fenrir, thanks a lot, dude. I mean, I'm happy with this run because... 
I mean, not even this run specifically. I'm happy with the fact that uh, I've been getting runs, like good runs, PBable runs a lot recently. So even if this doesn't PB, I'm gonna get a 119 eventually. I mean, I. This should be fairly easily a PB, but then it's another question: Is it going to be a 119? Also, shotgun spawn. Go the f fuck away. Okay. Good. If I had died there, the run runner would have died for sure. Now it's just I don't want to get trolled by more. Please, like more is like it's not difficult, really. You can choke away, definitely the run, but most of the time it's the fucking game just being stupid. If I like die on this level or something like that, most most of the time. We need to get to the bridge. We need to get to 119. I am actually not even gonna go to the bridge, so fuck Cortana. I don't even know how to get the skip anymore. I don't know even I don't even know how to get the shotgun anymore. Fuck. Shotgun. I'm getting blocked. Okay, good. No carrier at least. Checkpoint. I refuse to go without a checkpoint. That cost me time. Okay. That's the most difficult part over. I would say at least. Yes, I will, I know, but just in case. I'm gonna go for this. Because I'm a fucking maniac. If that guy had landed a melee, I would have died for sure. Go away! No! I lost so much health, dude. Oh my god. Fuck. If I lose... I must not lose shields now. I must not. Lose shields. Dude, one fucking needle just did that much damage. Don't punch me, thanks. Don't shoot me, hunters, please. Thanks. Should I think I should be fine. Should be fine. I think. Just do the thing. Engine room located. We're here. Alert. The monitor has disabled. Now just don't give me extra flood spawns or anything stupid. The only remaining option is just don't. That's like the only thing that can go really badly right now. If I get some stupid extra spawns. That are gonna kill me. Go away. I need to kill that guy otherwise I might not get this checkpoint. Destabilizing. Use explosives on the other three reactors. That 
Don't shoot me. Do not shoot me. This might be it. This might be it. I'm gonna lose time on this level most likely. Because I feel like this has been slower than the one in my PB. I feel like. But... I think this is 119 pace. Assuming my driving doesn't go like full shit. I think. I think. I think. Just do the driving properly. Everything will be fine if I just do the driving properly. But it's not. There's one thing, uh, dude. No, no. I don't even want to think about it. If it actually, if the one thing that can end the run actually happens to me on this run, I'm cursed. I'm cursed. Because I've never lost a PB base run to the thing, but it can happen. And there's like nothing I can do to avoid it. It's really rare. I mean, it's rare. I've never lost a run to that, like PB base run at least. So, it's that rare. And then there are, there are uh, barrels. But, barrels I should get through. Bye. If I just get through them. And then there's 360. Which I can die to if I completely fail. But usually if you I even if you don't get the full 360 you're just gonna live, you're fine. Unless like okay. Just I don't need to think about it, really. Just play the game. Just do the thing. Get the World Recce trademark. Easy game, easy life. If this BB is, I'm happy with this. Wait, stop. This is where Fohammer is coming to pick us up. Hold position here. Not even fast reset. Dang it. She's gone. Calculating alternate escape route. I actually have no idea what this what this time is gonna be. I have like no idea. Like no fucking idea. I only know that this feels like it could uh, it could be a 119, but I don't even know. What if it's not gonna be a 119 and then I'm gonna be like, what the fuck dude? And I was hyped for no reason. Beautiful. Booyah. Is it gonna happen this run? No. I might have done it. Did I just I thought I got stuck. Oh my fucking god, dude. I just... My heart just like... It just dropped. Like... I thought I, I fucking died. I just thought the elite stuck me. So I got out of the hog early. I fucking can't believe that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's it. That's it. It's fucking done. It's fucking done, dude. It's fucking done. It's a one nineteen forty.
How much time did I lose on the mall? Only two seconds, good. This run was so fucking good. This run was so fucking good. This run was so fucking good. Only okay, AOTCR. I rever revert there like twice. That's like okay, whatever. TB I died like twice. Right? Yeah. Like that's it. That TNR was a fucking rainbow. It was a sub-25 split, like, what else can you ask for that? Nobody can compete against that like, but me, unless they actually learn the fucking game properly. <laughs> no offense to other runners of this game. That sounded kinda cocky. But yeah. It's actually done. <laughs> what, what, what? Yo, Hoot61, thank you for the 119 donation. <sighs> Thanks a lot. <sighs> word, word, word. 119 is possible, yeah. But it's just. Okay, for. Yeah, I. I lost. <coughs> I lost 10 seconds on AOTCR, then I lost, wait, like, okay, 118 is possible, obviously, if, it, let's say, yeah, like, mainly TB, time save, and keys, flood bump, and maybe stick stack, I guess I'm gonna start doing stick stack now. I can't believe this failing right now. I've actually... Like, I actually have the feeling it's fucking done. I finished the fight. <laughs> 